Welcome back to Weekend Sunrise. Now, a successful rom-com doesn't take much. And, you know, take it from me as a producer <laughs> of several successful rom-coms. An attractive cast, a nice location, some romantic complications and, you know, a test screening in front of Mon. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> by, by all accounts, Aloha ticks the boxes. Bradley Cooper is torn between Rachel McAdams and Emma Stone while visiting the sun-soaked shores of Hawaii. You've got me already. But the movie has already come under some pretty fierce criticism. Here to explain it all is Jason Jabba Davis. Oh, oh no good. Oh, fierce critic Jason Jabba Davis. You don't mind you, 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 a rom-com. Oh, look, I'll watch a rom-com. I was particularly excited to get the opportunity to watch Cameron Crowe's brand new film At the Fox Lot in Los Angeles ahead of catching up with the man. Yeah, yeah. And it's that pressure that builds when you think, I've got to watch this film, I've got to talk to the director. I've got to and, like it. Uh, I've got to like it, and oh. I didn't like it, unfortunately. Oh. I think some of his, uh, you know, casual movie goers will probably enjoy this film, but there's three stories in one here. There's a rom-com between Bradley Cooper, Rachel McAdams and Emma Stone. There's a military espionage story, and there's a spiritual story of the people of Hawaii. Oh. Too much. One of whom is represented by the redhead Emma Stone, who is uh, really? part Chinese, <laughs> part Hawaiian. There's a little bit too much. Um, the, the leaked emails that came out from Sony even the, the head of the studio there was saying this is an absolute disaster. Absolute disaster is maybe putting it, you know, a bit unkindly. She's a bit too perky. Their whole chemistry doesn't really work, but there are some great moments, one of which is a scene without dialogue, which is interesting because, of course, Cameron Crowe, known for mm. his dialogue in films mm. such as Almost Famous and Jerry Maguire, and he tells us here about how that famous, famous line nearly didn't make it to the big screen. Show me the money was... was never meant to be a catchphrase or anything. I think the one time I tried to write a catchphrase in something, it was a disaster. It's mostly when there's a marriage between the actor and the line and the moment in the story, it can, it can work that way. I thought You Complete Me was, you know, I, I wanted to cut You Complete Me from the Jerry Maguire script. And Tom Cruise was like, no, no, no give, give me a shot at that. I may be able to make that work for you. And then on the night that he did it, I looked around and like the whole crew was crying. So I'm like, okay, fire the editor <laughs> in my head. Look, it's telling when you have an interview about Aloha and you end up speaking about Jerry Maguire. That was the director <laughs> that I went to. Let's focus on his better films. This one, sadly, is not an essential part of the Cameron Crowe line. I mean, all directors yeah. have, their, have their films that aren't great. This one, not great. Two and a half stars. I mean, if you want a sensitive cultural exploration of the Hawaiian people, obviously go for Elvis. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Elvis, he's, he's serious. Mm. Look, this is a film that's come out this week. This is a bunch of blokes making dick jokes. If I can say that, I just did. This is essentially what Entourage is. Uh, and if you're up for that kind of thing, just like last week, we had the rock flying around in a helicopter as the world disintegrated. If that's your thing, great. Number one at the box office. I thought this was hilarious. You know, I was a big fan of the show when it was originally on TV. Basically, the guys get back together. Vince is making a movie. He runs out of money. Let's take a quick look at Entourage the movie. What did I tell you when I gave you $100 million? What did we tell you? You agreed to not go over. We told you it wasn't enough. But you agreed to not go over. Because you said I couldn't direct unless we agreed. It's like when a girl asks if you want to bang her hot sister. Of course you say no. Neither of you really believes you mean it, though. What is he doing here? Importantly, tomorrow, catching up with the cast of Entourage, four stars I loved. I thought this was hilarious. It's had some pretty dire reviews as well. Why would you just well, watch so... Entourage? How do you mean? Why would you just watch the, the show? Series. I mean, it's the same thing, right? It's bigger. It's like on steroids. And uh, Johnny Drama, to meet him in the flesh, Turtle, all the guys are going to be on the show tomorrow. Very, very exciting. Loved Entourage. It's like, it's like Sex in the City. You know, if yeah, you exactly. the series, you just want more of it. Exactly. Yeah, or Fast and the Furious, which I didn't great. like, but Larry was a big fan of. So, you know, if you... Oh, if Larry was a big fan. Yeah. Then... Well. Totes. Let's not go there. Yeah. Um, go see Entourage. Thanks, Jack. And wait thanks, for our Weekend Sunrise, the movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> coming up. Magnificent. Trilogy. Yeah. Three, well, You'll get, long no weekend. Rich, get no Richard jokes on that one. So Three hours of you nothing. Know. Thank you so Thanks, much, guys, Jazz. <laughs> coming up for you after the break, a masterclass in acting from the one and only Arnie. It is the way it is said. You know, it's like, for instance, with Tuma. I didn't even say Tuma with a T. I said, it's not a Tuma. <laughs> the governator reveals his uh, favourite catchphrase right after the break. Don't go anywhere.